So it's about that time to head on back to school, and I know you guys are not excited about that, but I know you guys are excited about what kind of looks that you can get for back to school. Now, I am a neutral lover, and I have to say that I have to wear neutral makeup, and this look is going to be used with the L'Oreal Paris inflammable, inflammable, excuse me, inflammable eyeshadows, and I am using in this look 607 Blanche and Brilliant, and then I'm going to use 407 Gold and Pearl. These great, these are great. I love them. So, this look is definitely cute, affordable, nice, and just up my alley. So, I will talk to you guys throughout the tutorial, and I will see you guys later. Bye. So normally throughout the day, you're going to be in school for quite a bit. So now we're going to have to really prime our eyes. And we're going to use the e.l.f. mineral, not the regular proof. This is the mineral eyeshadow primer. And it is also in the shade sheer. And we're just going to take it and apply it all over to the eye, blending out very, very well. You really want to apply primer because you're in school, you worked hard on your makeup in the morning, and you want it to last completely throughout the day. Okay, so next we're going to take a Painterly Paint Pot by MAC, and this is also a primer as well. I feel like my primer will last all day, excuse me, my eyeshadow will last completely all day if I still add my Painterly Paint Pot, even though I just applied another primer. So we're just going to take Painterly by MAC, and we're just going to apply this all over to the eye. Blending out very, very well. Okay, so now we're going to take the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in the shade 407 Gold and Pearl. And this is just a pretty gold. And we're just going to apply this to our lid halfway about right there but this is just a gorgeous shade i'm telling you guys have baked from the original naked palette this is a perfect dupe for that so we're just going to take a flat shader brush and then we're just going to apply this color to the lid Ooh, look how pretty that looks And this is the reason why you should not apply your foundation before school because if you're going to use shimmery eyeshadows, then you're going to have to restart your foundation over depending on how much fallout had took place. So that's one reason why you shouldn't apply your foundation before you apply any eyeshadows for school because it takes less time to do. Now we're going to take 607 Blanche Brilliant. And the sidecar from the original palette is a perfect dupe for this out of the naked palette. I'm going to do a separate video on that too because I feel like these colors are amazing. And then we're just going to apply right beside the first shade that we used. We're going to just apply that to the rest of the lid. And kind of just blend the colors together and pack because it's a pressed pigment so pack it onto the eye have a gradient effect this is just so gorgeous for school speaking of the naked palette we're going to take naked and buck 
naked and buck and we're gonna use those two shades as our transition color I'm gonna use a little fluffy blending brush and just gonna apply those two colors to our crease Now we're going to take a matte highlight color and we're just going to apply it to our eyes and I'm going to come from the Close Sense 28 Neutral palette and then we're just going to take a pretty peach highlight color and this is what it looks like right up here. And we're just going to take it and apply this our highlight because when you're in school you really don't want a bright highlight you want a natural neutral highlight color and then we're going to just take a brown and then a darker brown and light of brown to the crease excuse me the out of the blending out very very well then add this pretty black to the outer V as well, just a little bit, not too much. Off camera, I'm going to apply mascara, and the mascara I'm going to use is CoverGirl's Last Perfection. And then for eyeliner, I'm going to use my Elf eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, and then I'm going to apply some eyeliner to my lower lash line to complete the look. And I will be back with the full face and everything else, and then we're going to work on our blush and etc. Okay, so I've already finished the look with the mascara that I talked about, and I only use just a regular black eyeshadow, a matte black at that. And for blush, I'm going to be using is NYX Blush in Peach. This blush may seem intimidating, but it's not. I've already got some product on the brush. So it looks like this, and I'm going to take, starting for my sideburns or you know this, the, this side right here over here and I'm just going to take it up do the fish face and I'm just going to lightly press the blush down see and does it, it look like you're contouring but you're not Apply it to the apples of your cheeks. And you see that blush isn't too out there. It's not too bright. It's just simple every day. Because you're going to school every day and you really don't want a lot of blush. So now we're going to take a lip balm, which is the EOS lip balm. I really, really like this lip balm because for one, the lip balm is very smooth and you really don't apply lipstick that much at school. I don't know who does. I did in high school because I didn't have the time to. So 
Because I'm going to take this, apply it to our lip. Okay, so now we're finished. We're going to set our makeup with Elf's Mist and Setting Spray. Close your eyes and... Just allow it to set because you're going to be in school for quite a while. And this should complete the look. I will see you guys in my next back to school series. Thumbs up this video. And if you want to see different looks using the infallible eyeshadows by L'Oreal, I will do so. I have another eyeshadow from their line. I only got three of these. So I really, really like them. Uh, the Naked Palette from Urban Decay. This has a few deeps from I'm going to do a separate video on them as well. So I will see you guys later. Enjoy. Bye.